my dog's toy. I'm gonna eat some leftover Panda Express and drink some of this Maxwell House French Vanilla Cafe. Um, stuff's pretty good, you just mix with water. Okay, so it's 12.35 right now, and so I want to be somewhat productive today, so I'm gonna go to the gym after breakfast, and um, then we'll take it from there. right now and i'm headed to the gym this is my mom's old van um but it got passed down to me because she got a new car so i guess technically this is my car now even though i didn't pay for it <laughs> but it's got a lot of miles on it 104 and i key i hope to keep this baby for a long time so Okay guys, I just got back from the gym. I stopped at the library for a quick second. Um, it's around 2.07 p.m. right now, but I wanted to show you, um, this is one of the things I picked up, which is a mind for numbers. Um, how to excel at math and science, even if you flunked algebra. This is by Barbara Oakley. And I'm, um, I started reading this over the last summer, but um, I haven't finished it. So I went back to the library and picked it up again. And this is a really good book for somebody like me because I am still new to math and sciences because I was in humanities for a long time. So this is really helpful because Barbara Oakley is somebody who hated math. Like she was really bad at it and like didn't try that hard, was never interested in it. And now she started off as like a, as an arts degree, like a bachelor of arts degree and I think like linguistics. And then um, she was in the army and then she went back to school and got a degree in electrical engineering, I think, and then got a master's and then eventually a PhD in like, like materials engineering or systems engineering, one of those. But it's a really inspiring story because she, her background is exactly like me. And I was somebody who never thought I could do math or sciences. That's why I like never even considered it in an option. And it's just like really inspiring. So this is a great read for anybody who is um, kind of shaky on math and science. Um, I believe in you. Barbara Oakley believes in you. We all believe in you. <laughs> and another thing I picked up is Bones. First season, this is just the first disc. <laughs> you know how libraries, they only do it like one disc at a time. You can't rent out like um, the entire season in one set, you have to get them in separate DVDs. <laughs> I don't know if every, anybody like runs from the library, but I love it. And um, I used to watch this on Netflix, but they took it down, which is sad because um, I haven't seen this in a while and I've been wanting to watch it um, again. So that's Bones, one of my faves. Uh, we'll see what else we're gonna do right now. I'm not sure exactly. Okay guys, so it's um, 9.38 p.m. right now. I know there was like, I don't know, like a seven hour gap <laughs> between the last thing I did and now. Um, I ended up just kind of like chilling at home. Um, I was watching YouTube, doing laundry. So I didn't document any of that. So just cause I didn't think it was like that interesting, but I decided to come out um, and do a little bit studying at this boba shop that's open late. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. So here I'm learning about the general purpose registers for a 32-bit x86 processor. Learning about, you know, EAX, ECX, EDX, and um, there are a couple more that I don't remember right now. 
Also taking notes about how a processor reads from memory and how it executes a a program. It lists the steps that the processor has to take to be able to do those two functions. Okay, so I'm in the parking lot right now. I finished um, studying. I was doing some assembly language. Um, we haven't started actually programming in assembly yet we're just like right now learning about the hardware and sort of architecture of the computer i am waiting for my sister and her boyfriend to come out of safeway right now and then we're gonna go to taco bell because we don't know what food is at home so we're just gonna like go to taco bell so this you know this day not much happened but i feel like it was pretty uh productive and a nice laid back day like during the week all i do is go to school, go to my internship, do homework, and sleep. That's basically it. And so over the weekend, it's nice to kind of like, you know, take a little break. Even though I did do, um, did study today, it was like very low, low key and like laid back. All right, guys, I didn't um, film an outro for this video. I guess I forgot last night. Um, but anyways, we got the Taco Bell and then I just watched um, Netflix and went to bed. Um, so thank you guys for watching and please subscribe. Um, it really does help. Um, it means a lot to me. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.